Ugh. You know, I woke up feeling kind of weird today. I gotta admit. You know, it's time to record the weekly friend SMP video, so I'm not gonna let that stop me in what I'm trying to do. But ever since I got out of bed, I just felt like my head was spinning. I don't know. It's probably just me, right? We're gonna try and power through it anyway. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of the Friend SMP server. I'm Ninja, but I'm usually a ninja. You already knew that. Um. <laughs> Oof. Man, if I didn't have such a headache, I could talk about how cool the server's been looking because a lot of other people besides me have been building on here, but. Ugh. I, I feel so sick, I feel like I'm just gonna puke. I don't know if... I don't know if the quarantine's been... <laughs> been too successful, I still feel really ill. I don't know, guys. <laughs> should I see a doctor? What should I do? <laughs> so, last time we killed the dragon... and the dragon's sister. The second dragon. Um, and even though I didn't get either wings or the dragon heads from the adventure, uh, Austin, who I helped get the second pair of wings, did probably the nicest thing anybody's ever done for me on this server. He gave me, and, and, and I don't say that lightly by the way because Crow has given me a lot of gifts as well. Austin, oh my god, <laughs> he went over the top. Look at all this stuff. He gave me some some mending wings, and and by the way, he put a sign down saying, "Sorry, I don't have an unbreaking three book for you." It's cool, man. I have a lot of those, and <laughs> you gave me way more than I expected. What I'm probably most excited about, though, is this shulker head. These things, I think, are so hard to get and it looks awesome i look like a ninja <laughs> oh this is my new favorite head by far easily i don't know why my frames just dropped <laughs> um <laughs> i'll probably have to figure that out before i continue recording this episode but <laughs> Yeah, um, and then he gave me a bunch of shulker boxes, I think, one, two, three, four. Um, and then I already have one, so, um, I'll have five boxes, and some banners, and some rockets, and, uh, a chest plate, I think, that he probably just got from looting the N-City. But, um, thank you. Thank you so much, Austin, if you're watching this. You are a G. This is <laughs> really cool. I'm happy to have these. Also new cactus farm. If I wanted to get any uh, backup in loot, I actually don't even really need to go hunting for it because Austin set up a shop for this stuff that's actually super, super cheap. It's like <laughs> two diamonds for diamond armor for some reason. Enchanted diamond armor. It's two diamonds for your any enchanted diamond tool, it's one diamond for a stack of end blocks, including these shulker heads, I guess. Um, a diamond for a chorus fruit, which is uh, actually the one trade that seems like it's kind of a ripoff. But, you know, that that's fine, because I, I feel like you're selling pretty much everything else at a loss, Austin. You can, you can gouge for that fruit if you feel like it. Um, the elytra is 16 diamonds. That's probably a little bit more fair. Dragon loot, 3 diamonds. Huh. He has 3 eggs. And 5 heads. I might do that. I think I actually might give him a few more diamonds for some more shulker boxes. This is a super good deal. I'm kind of scared he's going to realize that and raise the price. Yeah, 
This is better. Apparently there's a pretty cool new end farm that I need to check out. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna check it out. <laughs> yeah, that seems pretty efficient. <laughs> Should all just be one hits. Should have brought a sword so we could sweep them all. <laughs> I wonder if a wooden sword would be enough. If he made his farm right, they should all be at half a heart. So this should kill all of them. This is the true test smear. Oh. <laughs> I can hit them all at once. So, I found kind of a weird thing the other day while I was out exploring. Uh, I don't think it's something I missed in the update. I'm pretty sure it's a structure that was added as part of one of our data packs. Um, but it looked like it had loot all the same and it was filled with elder guardians which was super weird it wasn't a sea temple like that i'm looking for it again uh <laughs> um these things are so cool <laughs> but uh i wasn't able to loot it at the time that i found it because i ran out of food and <laughs> um had to come back for a reprieve but i figured i could check out what's in it on camera. It it looked like it had some uh, chests in it, but I couldn't get to them because they had mining fatigue. I couldn't find the last guardian. I think I killed two of them? I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of hard to describe. I'm hoping I'm just able to show it to you in a second. It was by a swamp. I think I'm coming up to it. Okay, I'm expecting to find it soon. <laughs> I swear. Um. Yeah, it was by this ship. So I'm gonna swap out my wings for a chest plate. Just in case things get ugly. Ugh, I should have brought wood for a door though. I can get some from that island. <laughs> I think I will. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can break into this before I get the mining fatigue. Oh, we did it. Oh. Well. Oh. Okay, that's weird. It's still blocked off, and the guardian still goes out mining fatigue, so it's still alive. But this chest doesn't have anything in it. <laughs> um, it's not acting like it was looted, but this door is something I placed. By the way, this place has a uh, these drone spawners. I think it could be a potentially good spot for a trident farm. Uh, cause some of these, um, drowned in the spawner definitely have tridents. There is potential. Ooh. Want more of these guys. Okay. Um... Where are we going? <laughs> well, <laughs> at the very least, I'm gonna take these glass and these sea lanterns. I 
next I'm gonna try to. <laughs> Get everything I can before. Get the effect again. Oh, oh wait. Something new? No. Oh, that's him. That's the last guardian. And he's surrounded by little guys. Oh, I really don't want to go down there. Is there a spawner for them? Um... Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, this is what spawns them. Hmm. Honestly, probably make a mini guardian farm. Oh shoot. Okay, I gotta get out of here. Uh, anyway, <laughs> that didn't turn out to be very lucrative, um, so, <laughs> I think the, uh, plan for today is, um, a few things, actually. Uh, first of all, I kind of wanted to show off, um, my project off camera, um, oh, hello, we're not very friendly. Uh, <laughs> for some reason I thought he would be friendly right there, but he wasn't. Sorry spider, it's your fault. <laughs> anyway, um, my off-camera project has been this nether up here. Uh, I noticed that everyone was kind of starting to make their tunnels to bases and places uh, away from spawn, so, um, <laughs> before they they got too comfortable with them. Uh, I wanted to at least clear out an area uh, for another hub before it was too late to claim the spot for one. Um, and <laughs> I made quite a bit of progress, but not nearly enough. I think it looks pretty cool from the top, especially. Uh, eventually I want it to be pretty large scale project um I think it would be cool to have several domes like this all connected by these staircases and then bridges could come off of them going to um to people's portals and stuff uh so I'll probably work on that a little bit on camera today um but for, for the most part I'm probably gonna have to do a lot of work on this while I'm not recording, uh, which is fine. I'll update every once in a while. into a bit of a predicament here. <laughs> oh, they are not happy with me. can forgive me, I won't have to kill you all. They don't seem to be that interested in me. 
they already forgive me? Huh. Okay. <laughs> um. You guys are good people. <laughs> So, I think I messed up on the symmetry of this dome, possibly even a few times. Um, <laughs> so, I was thinking we could go a new design route with it. Um, I still want it to be a dome, but I was thinking in the parts that kind of look a little off. Um, I'll show you specifically what I'm talking about. I feel like, I feel like this doesn't really line up right. <laughs> I don't know what happened here. Um, but I was thinking in spots like this, I might just light a TNT and blow a hole in it. Oh, of a gas shoot me right there. <laughs> anyway, that's enough for, uh, that. <laughs> for this episode. Um Hey. <laughs> uh that's enough for that this episode. Uh working on that dome was starting to give me kind of a headache, so I just figured enough of that for right now. You may or may not have seen this road already. I uh can't remember if I passed by it earlier. But uh this has been the other thing I've been working on off camera. Uh, people were kind of starting to complain that they didn't have enough room at spawn to build their shops and stuff. So, being the good citizen I am, uh, I started extending this road out so people can't say that anymore. Because look at all this room. Um, I think the plan is uh, to branch it out in a few different directions. But for right now, I'm trying to connect it over uh, to Crow, Smear, and Dave's base. So Tobin gave me an idea over here um, to build a little town. Um, this is going to be the next little project, and it's probably going to be more of a, a next episode build. But I thought we could lay it out in this one, because um, there is kind of a specific outline that I want to get right. Uh, if... If you've ever played any of the uh, the Generation 3 Pokemon games, either Ruby or Sapphire or Emerald, or, or I guess even Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire would, would count, because I think it still has the town. But there's a town in the game called Pacific Log Town or Pacific Lodge Town. I'm not sure the exact pronunciation, uh, but it's kind of a cool little town that's hidden in the middle of the water, um, and it's built on these, these wooden boards. It actually looks quite a bit like the spruce trapdoor texture, so that's kind of what inspired me to do this. <laughs> but, um, it's kind of just a little ragtag, dinky town, um, that's floating in the middle of the water. Um, and so, I thought it'd be kind of cute to <laughs> build it, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to be right back as I start to, uh-oh, <laughs> as I start to, uh, outline the, um, <laughs> the, the boards, I don't know, um, by the way, I know I'm probably horrible at, at explaining how this town looks, so, uh, I'm, I'm more than likely have a picture on the screen for you to look at. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> I'll see you in a second.
it's looking pretty good. Um, a little plain, but it's not done yet. <laughs> it's uh, just just platforms. <laughs> uh, so for a literal base, it's it's looking pretty good. Uh, I think I missed a spot in the back over there. <laughs> I don't know why I have the slabs for them. Uh, <laughs> I think that's somebody's grave right there. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't, I don't think I'll have to put anything there, so I guess. That's not an issue. But, uh... That's pretty much all I wanted to do for this today. I... Um... I think I'll focus more on it next time. But, uh, I just wanted to kind of have a decent start to work with. Um... Because I feel like... I'll have an easier time, uh, being creative with the actual house designs. If, uh, this big platform's already finished for me, so I'm glad I got that out of the way. Obviously up front right there is gonna be a big Pokemon Center. Yeah, so, <laughs> um, this, I, uh, pretty much decided to change up completely. <laughs> um, like I said, I wasn't feeling the dome design at all. I wasn't able to get it right. Um, so I kept part of it. Um, sorry, I'm getting a little bit of lag. Frame lag. Um, Like I said, I really wasn't feeling the dome, uh, so I kept part of it, but, um, I just cut out this whole top portion here, and, uh, I don't completely know what I'm gonna do with it, uh, <laughs> it's gonna come at a later time too, mm, but I just thought, It'd be nice to show a progress update of what I'm working on before. Uh, I called it another day. <laughs> um. So. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I've been working on. Anyway. On that note, uh. <laughs> we're gonna call it another day. Um. This episode might be a little bit shorter than usual. Uh, I'm not too sure how it'll turn out after editing, but, uh, I'm pretty satisfied with everything we've done today. Like I said, with, uh, Pacific Lodge Town, that's probably gonna be the focus of our, of our next episode. Um, but for this one, um, we, we kind of just accomplished a few little, <laughs> uh, chores around the server actually didn't get too much of any one thing done but uh this project started the nether hub started a lot of stuff has started today so uh hopefully that inspires a lot of hope that it'll be finished at some point <laughs> uh yeah um but until next time I guess, uh, that's it for me. I'm out. <laughs> yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs>